Alrighty then, my rule chums, it is I, Daniel. You may call me the pop culture gen. Thank you for subscribing to the channel that hits 3K subscribers. Woo -woo! Party time. But before we skip things first, I'm going to make a trailer reaction to Uncharted, the movie. If you don't know what's the premise of Uncharted, it's basically Indiana Jones meets Tomb Raider, and it's based on a popular video game franchise of national treasure hunting with Nathan Drake and his partner, Sully. But until then, Sony Pictures decided to develop a movie over 10 years in the making where they decide to make a live action adaptation of this movie and it's funny enough that it's starring Tom Holland which is quite controversial just because you're telling me that you want to make Nathan Drake a lot younger and not cast Nathan Fillon because he's 50? Eh? And same for Mark Wahlberg. He was considered to play Nathan Drake but he got too old for the role and decided to play Sully who doesn't have a mustache from what I've seen from the onset photos. But now the trailer's officially out, and I think it's Sony Pictures' way by saying, hmm, we know that the Spider-Man fan base is not gonna be impatient for Spider-Man No Way Home. How about we just release a trailer that releases soon in 2022 that features Tom Holland in a movie? Eh? Eh? And boom, they decided to do on charge so everyone could shut up about Spider-Man No Way Home for a while. But now, I'm gonna start my trailer reaction in three, two, wait, I didn't even count. Tres, dos, uno, let's go. Hmm, okay, not too bad. There are places out there you can't find on any map. Hopefully you don't disappoint Nolan North. Is this, this national map. treasure? Is the Nicholas Cage? You're just lost. Ooh, Sony Pictures. Ha, PlayStation Studios. Make a Crash Bandicoot movie. Yeah, a little young for a bartender, aren't you? A little old for prom, aren't you? Ha, talk about age-gapping jokes. Everything in here. Why the map? This path for Magellan took to I bet the these two will have some good chemistry. Even though it's just Mark Wahlberg being Mark Wahlberg. What's the problem, man? We're seeing the adventures of Peter Parker and Kate Yeager from the Transformers movies and a National Treasure adventure. Ah, oh, the ring. I know that's an Easter egg from the games. I don't play much about them, but I recognize that. Okay, adapting the fourth game? Let's see, Sen. February 2022, the first video game movie released this year. Well, next year, you know what I mean. Okay, Tom Holla, you want to be the next Tom Cruise? I don't think so. Oh! Antonio Banderas, Puss! In Boots. I was also in Burger Beard and SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. Yup, basically just Tom Cruise in it with your Mission Impossible looking stunts. Even though Cruise is 60. Fortune. Ah, is that basically a reference to the first game from its title? Even though you still look like a boy, young Nathan Drake, or in this case, Tom Holland. <laughs> he said that in Avengers Endgame. Oh gosh! No, I'm free, free, fun! Ooh. Okay, definitely scratching the surface from Uncharted 3. That's cool that they can present that in live action. Dead! Come on, make a flip! Do a flip! Okay, not bad, Ruben Fleischer, the director of this movie. Oh my god. I should make him out to play with a big boy's wing because you're about to get a proper Scottish welcome. Eh? What? Same response. <laughs> like I said, I can't stop thinking Peter Park. Hey, a post! Oh crap, okay, that is a catchphrase too, uh, Nathan Drake himself. Exclusively in movie theaters. Of course, you're not gonna put this on Netflix or Amazon and <laughs> Of course they wanna promote the video games just because that's what it's based on. Early 2022, I get it. Naughty Dog wants to do this as a promotion for the movie. So overall, this looks okay. Like, I don't think it's gonna be terrible. Like, oh, no, 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 no. But I don't think it's gonna be, like, blown off the way by saying, this is the best video game movie. I mean, sure, they got the references, like, the ship, the map, and basically the plane sequence from Uncharted 3. Like, there's gonna be some Easter eggs here or there. I know it's a prequel of the past four games, but the one, the criticisms about this, like I said, it's the casting. Like, look, I know that Nolan North, the voice actor of Nathan Drake from the video games, have been vocal and positive about Tom Holland as Nathan Drake. And like I said, I understand because Tom Holland, which is trying his best to be versatile as an actor in his career instead of everyone saying look it's spider-man and i know that spider-man no way home is coming this christmas and i know tom wants to continue the role but as an actor he's trying to like stay out of the way and decide to like 
tried different roles. Like, look at Chaos Walking. That became a financial bomb. It was going to be a book franchise with him and Daisy Ridley, but that never worked out. So, Uncharted is just the similar way. But him as Nathan Drake, I don't know. I'm still trying to be, like, keep on soul about it because, obviously, Tom has the charm, but I don't think he just has, like, the, you know, the charismatic that Nathan Drake has. As a matter of fact, Mark Wahlberg looks a lot more like Nathan Drake, but as I said before, they're like, oh, he's too old for the role. And him as Sully, I don't know, man. I mean, I guess we get the mustache at the ending because it's a prequel movie. I don't know. But, you know, it's just Marky Mark be Marky Mark. Like, you know, how's it going, man? Like, basically that type of attitude, but not, like, playing as a distinct character from the video games. Because if this movie becomes a critical bomb, but also a financial bomb, you are going to disappoint the fan base. And if they're trying their best to, like, make this Nathan Drake young, is that one of the reasons why that Sony wants to make sequels, but it's not guaranteed that this movie will be a financial success, unless if you're a fan of Uncharted, or at least a casual person like, hey, look, that's the guy who plays Spider-Man. Oh, look, that's the guy from Transformers. I want to go see this movie. That's what the casuals would think. But I don't think it would be, like, a big success in a way. And like we said, good luck to Tom Holland for staying committed to this role. But even though I just don't think that it's going to, like, make it, like, so distinct that I can believe him as Nathan Drake, I'll be like, that's not Nathan Drake. That's just Peter Parker on a plane. Just because of the lines and the way that his mannerisms. It's just, it's the same American accent that he did in his voiceover roles and all that. So, I don't know. I I just got to get used to it. So, that's why I, I'm overall a mixed bag into this movie. And not trying to be overcritical or, or at least too judgmental. I just am a little bit more excited. Come at me, bro. I'm more excited than... <laughs> obviously Sonic the Hedgehog 2 don't expect a trailer soon like I did in my community post which because I think it's a lot more faithful from what I researched and same goes for the Super Mario Bros movie hey I know the voice casting is ridiculous and it's such a cash grabbing marketing move to the general audience but it might be a guilty pleasure I won't expect it a masterpiece but at least just stupid dumb fun and because it's Mario and just because it's like oh Daniel you like Sonic and Mario so of course you're gonna like eventually get excited for those movies that Uncharted I mean yeah that's true it's just I just believe that there's a little bit more creativity with this well if you take the Uncharted things away it feels like your usual summer blockbuster movie even though this is not coming out in the summer it's coming out February 2022 because there's no competition so I guess Uncharted just like has the open doors just to be reserved to the seats for them by saying hey look there's Tom Holland oh look it's Mark Wahlberg oh look a video game movie franchise yay so we'll see about the critics reviews will it be one of the worst video game movie adaptations is it going to be one of the best or meh it's what I expected just an average action adventure type of movie featuring two celebrity actors and a video game ip movie so yeah that's all i have to say what are your thoughts on the uncharted movie and hopefully you guys get to let me know down in the comments i'll be willing to do more trailer reactions just to keep this channel a little bit alive you know what i mean but anyway that's the end for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video take care now bye bye then